Good morning, everyone. Let's wake up our bodies with some nice warrior poses and stretching. We're going to start in down facing dog. We're going to lift our sit bones to the sky here and press the hands and your palms firmly into the ground. Try to reduce tension in your shoulder girdle and push your chest bone slightly to the ground. Then march forward, step forward into forward fold, still trying to lift your sitting bones to the sky and then just dropping forward with the nose to your knees. Relax your shoulders and try to just let your, hang, your head hang in this position. Maybe shake it a bit if you want to. Try to breathe evenly. Inhale through the nose. If you can, exhale through the mouth. Then bend your knees slightly. Lift your chest. Make a flat back. And then exhale. Fold forward, nose to the knee. We're going to do that again. Inhale, bend the knees slightly. Then inhale, come into flat back position. Knees bend or straight as you wish. And then fold forward, pushing the heels into the ground. And again with the knees straight if you want to lift the hands all the way up the shins to the knees and then slide back down nose to the knee lifting your sitting bones try to do that again pressing the feet into the ground your heels outer edges and big toe mount then bend the knees and step back into plank position. Make two big steps back and then bring the knees to the ground or keep them up as you wish. And then do a nice triceps push down onto the ground. Lay your feet flat onto the ground and just lift your chest, keeping the head aligned with the spine. If you want to do that again, a little bit bigger, still keeping the head aligned with the spine. Release the shoulders. And then lift yourself up onto the knees, push up and come back into downward facing dog. The feet are parallel and try to lower your chest bone to the ground. Some might even reach the ground with your crown of the head if you're that flexible. But keep a very long and free spine and try to keep your shoulder blades pulling towards the ribs, back and down onto the rib cage to free the shoulder girdle. And step forward into forward fold and release the head. The nose goes to the knee. Stay in forward fold, lifting your sitting bones into the sky while you're grounding your heels into the ground. Your feet push in the ground with the heels outer edges and the big toe mount making your legs really long from the heel to the sit bone and relax your head and shoulders then inhale again come up all the way sweep the arms overhead relaxing the shoulders inhale and then exhale arms alongside your body then come into a standing slight little back bend, bringing the arms onto your sacrum, slightly lifting your chest, bringing a little bit of length between your navel and your diaphragm, and then exhale, release the arms. Try that again, sweep the arms to the back, onto your sacrum, pushing the fingers down, pulling your elbows together and lifting your chest, keeping the head aligned with your spine very easy and softly then inhale again sweep the arms overhead big movement relax the shoulders and then exhale come into forward fold pressing the heels into the floor you can bend the knees slightly and bring the nose to the knee stay in forward fold and again try to round yourself forward as much as possible since we're waking up slightly now and your body is getting warmed up you might be reaching lower by now and if you want to you can bring the hands closer to your feet or even onto your feet then inhale and come into tabletop position you can bend the knees and exhale come back into forward fold and 
and inhale again your choice you can bend the knees so keep the knees straight lifting into flat back pushing the sitting bones back and the crown of your head forward and exhale come back into forward fold then bend the knees and step back into plank position pulling the navel in not arching nor rounding the lower back too much the hips are shoulder height or slightly lower and now try to pull the shoulders away from the ears the shoulder blades are sliding towards each other trying to close towards your spine the shoulder blades are closing towards the spine and back towards your hips push your heels back creating a lot of length in your body and then either lower down onto your feet or bring the knees down into push down and then lower down onto your belly now your choice, you can either lift up again into small cobra, just pulling yourself up from the strength of your glutes and your back, or you're coming into a big cobra, really trying to pull yourself up with the strength of your glutes and your back. We will be doing a full upward facing dog later, but for now, push back onto your knees and into downward facing dog, pushing your hands and your palms into the floor. The inside of your elbows, the eyes of your elbows are looking towards each other. You're trying to bring the shoulder blades again towards each other and down to your hips, trying to free your spine and length in your spine. Then step forward with your right leg into low lunge. And here you want to push your left heel back as to bring a little bit of a lift into your quadriceps and your front knee is above your ankle. So stay as low as you can. We're now gonna be going into our first warrior adventure that is with the inhale come up with the arms overhead relaxing your shoulders you can look into your hands focus here is the strong foundation that is your legs your left heel pushing back your right knee pushing forward but not going forward of your ankle and then the freedom and the uplift through your upper body so you want to create length in the front and then reach back down into low lunge stepping back into downward facing dog well done you can either stay static here or you can try to wiggle a little bit that is marching from one leg to the other i also like lifting onto my toes here it usually uh, results in a lot of cracking in my feet joints but that's all fine creating space in those feet and ankles and from down facing dog step forward into forward fold come back with the nose to the knee and just realize here how you might have progressed from the beginning to now if you're somewhat inflexible you can always bend the knees to keep a little bit of tension out of your spine and out of your back as to like lay the belly button onto your thighs try to release the head and relax the shoulders and then inhale and come up into tabletop spine parallel to the ground and exhale release back down we're gonna do that again your choice either with the knees bent or straight now come up your your shin bones with the hands into tabletop and release back down great bend the knees bring the hands onto the ground and step back into plank position narrowing your hip points and pulling the navel so that you're creating a lot of strength in the front of your body if you want to your palms are firmly gripping into the ground and now try to pull your hands slightly towards your knees but without coming into a V pose, stay in plank pose and just pull your hands slightly towards your feet. This will engage your back muscles and balances the pose nicely from front to back. Now push down either on your knees, on your feet, into lying on your belly, relax the shoulders and come up into a little small cobra that can either be a little one or a slightly bigger one and then release back 
down chest to the ground. Now lift again, a little bit higher if you want to, but there's no must, only can. And we're preparing to push back into downward facing dog. Be gentle with yourself, either come into upward facing dog and then down dog if you're advanced, or simply push back onto your knees and then lift the sitting bones back to the sky or the ceiling and come into downward facing dog. Breathe very calmly. You can either be completely still if you're just about to wake up, if there's a little bit more energy in your body, you can move a little bit around, test if the spine is free. And then we're coming forward with the left leg into low lunge, pushing the right heel back this time and the left knee forward. Create a lot of stability in your foundation. You know where the adventure is going to take us. It's going to take us into warrior lifting the chest in a minute. And when we're lifting in a minute, try to stay stable with your legs, not lifting the legs, just staying low and now lifting your arms overhead. Try to bring the elbows slightly in as the elbows reach forward. This will release your trapezius. So all we really want is to relax the neck and the shoulders. So try to have a very open neck and shoulders and I'll bring the elbows in as the elbows point forward. Very nice. And then slowly lower down, bring the hands back down and we're stepping forward into forward fold. Bring the nose back to the knees. And now check once if your head is really relaxed. Sometimes we're still holding it, although we think I'm on a perfect fold forward. But really think of the crown of your head wanting to face the ground, not your eyes. Your eyes are really gazing softly towards your knees and not to the ground. Wonderful, then come back up into standing, either with your knees straight or bent. Then bring the arms overhead, reaching far to the sides and above you, relaxing your shoulders. And then bring the arms back down into standing alongside your body. Very nice. We're going to do another little back bend here, very softly, just bringing the arms around and onto your back. And then lifting the chest, lifting your nose. And always be gentle with your spine try to keep length in your spine not crunching it and then we do that again little back bend here just to waken up your spine try to contract your glutes this is to protect your lower back and then release and relax the hands now inhale the arms back up again overhead you can look up if you want shoulders relaxed and exhale Come back into your nicest forward fold. Knees can be straight or slightly bent. And in your forward fold, check once the position of your hips towards your feet. That means your hips can be shifted backwards slightly. That would bring a lot of weight onto your heels. So what I would like you to do is shifting the weight of the hips onto your feet as to evenly distribute between the front and the back of your feet. Then fold your knees, bend your knees and step back into plank position. Keep your shoulders away from the ears, relax your shoulders, suck your belly bottom in, narrow your hip points to create a little bit of lift in the front. And now you want to try to push your mat or floor or carpet or grass, whatever you are, back with your toes as if you would want to go forward with the crown of your head. Push the feet into the ground. The toes are trying to point. Very nice. And then come down into lying on your belly. Nice little pressing down. Triceps press. Now we inhale. Lift the chest slightly. Just do as much as you want to do. Release. And again, nice little or bigger cobra, bringing length into your spine, lifting up from the strength of your glutes and lower back. And then push back as you like into downward facing dog. So your heels are trying to reach the floor, but they don't have to. 
then take a few deep breaths in downward facing dog check your sitting bones are reaching to the sky your shoulders are relaxed shoulder blades are pulling away from your ears pulling towards each other and down to your rib cage and inhale and then exhale lift the left leg and come forward into low lunge again pressing your right heel backwards this time and the left knee reaches forward just as far as your foot so the knee stays above the ankle and you don't want to really hang into your tissue here you still want to have a, a good foundation a strong foundation to now be able to lift into that warrior pose bringing the arms overhead remember your elbows are pointing forward this will relax and release your trapezius or stress muscle that just contracts we have no control really over it so we have to actively tell this muscle to release and let go elbows pointing forward and then relax come back down into low lunge a little wobble is okay it's a nice great balanced pose and then step back into downward facing dog this is our last downward facing dog in this exercise so try to make it your best your proudest you don't need to be pushing too much into the ground with your heels what i would like you is to open your chest and relax and release your breathing and then lift your right leg come forward into a low lunge with your right leg forward pressing the left heel backwards now creating a strong foundation for also our last warrior pose here so we want to stretch the psoas a little bit but not hang in our hip flexor we still want to activate our muscles and then inhale bring the arms overhead lifting your chest relaxing your shoulders again a little hint here for the trapezius to relax by bringing the elbows in and sliding your shoulder blades all the way down your back towards your hips so there's a lot of activity going on here in the shoulder girdle that is invisible to the eye and then release back down into low lunge and step forward into forward fold relax for a second here in forward fold let your head hang and prepare mentally for standing back up and getting out of this nice little session start to breathe evenly pressing the feet now firmly into the ground the heel the outer arch and the big toe mount then either with your knees bent or straight slowly roll up and then sweep the arms to the side creating length in your arms and the whole arm line bringing the hands together touching your forehead touching your chest and this is it thank you very much for joining i hope you are awake woken up my little warriors and i see you all next time have a great day see you soon bye